Oh, hello. <laughs> I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the tile. I don't get married in carriages and I don't want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> hello. Donald it's and Jacqueline, Jacqueline and Jack. <laughs> <laughs> now are we all? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and look who's here. Hello. It's the one and only Mr. C. You all know and love him. It's a gorgeous day. We're in Greenwich. Oh, do you feel that sun in the back of your neck? Yeah, how nice is that? Ooh, oh, have you put yes. your SPF on? Get the deck chairs out. <laughs> no, Donald and Jacqueline 2.0. We're in um, the Royal Borough of Greenwich today. I used to live in Greenwich. So this is very familiar territory for me. And um, we're in the park. It's gorgeous. Let me show you. So nice. It's lovely, isn't it? So we're just walking down this little hill bit. And then you've got the whole city skyline just over there with the Queen's House and then the Maritime Museum and the University of Greenwich is there as well and then behind that is Canary Wharf. So we're in Greenwich because we're going to have a little day in town. I'm going to have a catch up with Ewan because he's been busy with loft renovations and all go. filming yeah. and all that exciting stuff so we're going to have a little coffee and a catch up and then um, a bite to eat I think yes. and then um, a vlog as and when. It's going to be a weekly vlog. Oh god it's very dark. It's exciting. Ooh. Weekly? I'm going to walk backwards because the lighting's better. It's going to be a weekly vlog because so I'm going to stop filming because I'm probably we're gonna fall. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys when we get some food. So we came to Grind, which is one of my favourite places for food and coffee. And I've never been to the one in Greenwich, it's gorgeous. I've just had to nip into boots to get some um, all day hair fever tablets. I don't know if you can see like that air pipe. It's like bits of pollen flying around my eyes, feel so itchy. So we'll have some of these. I've got some breakfast, some coffee. I have already had toast this morning, but second breakfast is a thing, right? <laughs> Inside Greenwich Market now, and as I said, I used to live in Greenwich. It's changed so much since I was last here. There's so many new like shops and eateries and little craft stores. It's fab. It's literally amazing. So they've got a zero waste refill store here that they didn't have before, which is brilliant. Loads of new eatery places. Also behind here, this little truck is a Crosstown Donuts which is one of my favourite donut shops, literally just behind. If you are coming to London this summer, I definitely recommend a visit to Greenwich. It's not too far out of town. You can get the train or the DLR here, and it's really nice. It's very, very old London, but it's gorgeous. I really do love it. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> just hello. said I might do a cheeky vlog myself. <laughs> <laughs> We're all finished shooting, and it's getting hotter. Yeah. It feels... It's getting hot in here. It feels warm. <laughs> Slightly Warm. <laughs> and we're just going to go and drive to one of our favourite stops in Greenwich. It's the retail park that has Home Sense. Um, what else does it have? It's been a while. It has a Starbucks. A Starbucks, Primark, Home, Next does Home. It have it's got a massive B&M now. Oh my goodness. Home Bargains. Steady on. Is it? Are you serious? Mm, yeah, the home, home it's the Home Bargains. It's the Charlton one. Steady on. Then we'll have to have a cheeky look around, so I'll take you guys along and see if there's any nice bits. We're going to drive there now. So we just had a little look into Home Sense. They've got some gorgeous plant pots. This one's only $2.99. And this one is $7.99. I just said to you, and I don't need any, but lovely glaze on it. Just spotted this black watering can, I think it's lovely. $6.99 is perfect because it's got a really thin spout, so it's good for the smaller little succulents that we've got. I'm gonna grab that. Found the discounted and reduced candles, so I'm gonna have a little look and see what ones they've got. I've got a little diffuser. Pick this up for $4.99. Ewan's got a birthday card. We're not doing too badly. Yeah. <laughs> it says. I remembered your birthday without social media before. Genius, and it's on sale for 140 so whoever gets that is very lucky. <laughs> we love a bug. <laughs> Something for Mr. C? Hey. Banana rolled up. One of those. <laughs> I know, I, I saw on a vlog, shop. yeah. That one looks funny. Oh look, you've got a banana holder here. <laughs> There we go, six ninety nine, mate. I'll oh, get that yeah. for you. <laughs> I've just spotted these Pestle and Mortar Le Creuset set. Oh my god, I can't get over how affordable it is. It's fab. If you are ever in or near TK Maxx or a home sense and you're in the market for some Le Creuset, definitely come because they have all of the pots and sauces and jugs and bowls for really good prices. They're fab. Right, we're done it. Oh, we're done in home sense. Um. We got recognised by one of the staff from this time last year. I'll link that video up in the top corner. We do an annual visit. We're going to go have a look in uh, Home Bargains. And then Yay. we're going to wrap up this little shopping trip. Is it new, the Home Bargains? It is. It opened in March. Oh, it's exciting. It's a new one. It's big. It's very big. 
gives Kate McCabe's <laughs> Norfolk home bargains a run for its money. Oh. <laughs> We're having a cheeky little look in the bargs of home. See if they've got any bits and bobs in. Don't really need anything again, but we can have a look, see. Just seeing these little sweet flavoured shower gels, they're cool. Oh, they've got Some a um, one. I've got the Napoleana large pizza bases for 119. I'm gonna get them and pop them in the freezer. They're great for like a midweek dinner. Mr. C's off on holiday yeah. to the bargain of home. <laughs> this is for his traveling, for his work, not actually yeah. for holiday. <laughs> got this little ring light tripod in store for 19.99. That's good. Maybe anyone out there wanting to start maybe a YouTube or that kind of thing, that could be fab. We've got some lovely little cushions and bits and bobs here in as well. This mustard's really nice. I like that orange rust as well, that's a lovely colour. I always do my restocks of sauces in Home Bargains because it's really cheap compared to supermarkets and they have the larger sizes as well, like that whole bottle of soy sauce is 99p. Just having a look at some of the homeware items. You and spotted these two little bits here. It's like a lovely French antique gold mirror and this rattan wall shelf. It's photographing them for his home account. I'll leave it on screen. It's Mr. Carrington home. It's fab. It spots all of the bargs. Just stock it up on some nice little tonics. How posh as well. That's lovely isn't it? A bit of Fentimans. We did also put a bottle of Kylie Rosé in the basket. Purely influenced by Mr. Carrington and his love for Rosé and Miss Minogue. <laughs> So I'm back home now and I'm about to film a little haul of all of the things that I got in HomeSense and also Home Bargains. So I think that will be live after this video goes live, which is perfect. So that means that it's going to be up next Sunday, which is covered. Sorry, I'm trying to get all my days in line, <laughs> trying to plan ahead. But yeah, really, really lovely to see you. And I feel like I need to take another hay fever tablet because I feel very like congested. So we're going to start on dinner now. We're going to make some soft shell tacos and we're using a couple of new things that I've never used before. So let me show you. So I got this in as this is the Richmond meat free mince. And Usually mince doesn't agree with me, but this looks like a different type of mince. So fingers crossed it might be all right. It just usually bloats me a little bit, but I don't know. Um, and then this is, actually this was some sent over from Cherries. They're a great little online store that sell loads of stuff. Actually, I'll leave them linked down below. This is the old El Paso stand and stuff taco boat kit. So it's like soft shell tacos and it's got like a seasoning mix. So I'm just gonna use that as some jalapenos. Um, jalapenos? Oh, Zara's here by the way. Jalapenos? <laughs> jalapenos? I thought it was jalapenos. Mm. Jalapenos. Jalapenos? Jalapenos? <laughs> oh, they are. Oh, dear. Um, so those and um, this was left over from a dinner earlier in the week. So this is sweet corn and peppers. And then we've got some black beans in this little Tupperware here. And we're going to have it with some coleslaw and salad. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Today's Thursday. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day in London. The sun is shining. I've got up, I'm ready. I'm dressed actually quite late. It's half past ten. I'm going to start a foodie day today. So I usually try and have at least one day a week as like a food content creation day. So I'm going to be making a lovely, delicious, like eat and mess meringue style dish. Um, I'm also going to do a baked halloumi, which I've never done, but does sound delicious. It's a recipe that I'm going to kind of adapt and try it out. Um, and then I'm also going to make some pancakes this morning for breakfast with a lovely like, blueberry compote. So that's the plan. up shooting this and I have a little coffee. It's basically nearly lunchtime. It took me quite a while to get all that done. Anyway, setting that aside, I'm going to fold up this newspaper. I was just having a little read through the Waitrose Weekender. It's brilliant. It's free if you're in store. I'm going to make a start on the next thing I'm baking today, which is meringues. I'm going to get them going and they can just chill and cool because they take about an hour in the oven. And then I'm going to film some worky bits and do some emails and that kind of thing. <laughs> guys are currently through my camera lens and this is the shot that I just took there we go so it's focused so what I do I set my camera up on a tripod and then I manually connect it to my phone via Wi-Fi 
so then I can shoot from the other side of the camera. So this is the little setup. So these are the little tiles that I use. These are just from B and Q. They're the sample floor tiles. <laughs> I picked them up in store years ago for I think like two pounds. And um, they're just ones that are like off cuts and things like that. I mean, they're chipped and it works fine. So that's kind of like the bench uh, setup. That, and I just styled it with like the meringue, some strawberry, some mint, some of the strawberry coolie. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that shot's turned out. So that'll be over on my Instagram. If it isn't live already, it will be. So yeah, these are the shots. And then this is what I did for breakfast this morning. So it's looking good. And the best part now is that I get to try it. Mm. It's such a simple dessert, but it just, for me, this is summer. Look who's back from work. I'm such a studious little beep. <laughs> Look at me in my blue. I, I know, blend in with we, all we the, today, today. what's it called? The big bossy businessman. Big bossy businessman in the, in the big bossy office. Mm -hmm. um, so I was back and I'm gonna make her a daiquiri because I chopped up some watermelon earlier and popped it in a freezer bag. So we're gonna do um, rum. Uh, frozen watermelon, orange juice, and a little bit of lime juice, and some sugar syrup, and blitz it all together, and enjoy it. And then we're having stir fry for dinner, which is one of our favorite things. I've just chopped up all the veg. Right, I've just shot this as a little bit of Instagram content as well. So that's third recipe done for today, and now we can enjoy these. Here we go. Oh, it's oh, it's all kinds of delicious. Dinner is served. It is a dark soy and teriyaki noodles with loads of veggies, sesame and crispy shallots. And we've got the daiquiri and then these are some lovely little gyoza and spring rolls with some hoisin and some sweet chili. <laughs> made Zara That's an eating. Making you die inside, it's making it? me really, really feel sick. <laughs> I made Zara um, a little eating mess. But I've got a, a spoon. Little, just I mean, a little. It's the size of your head. I've got a spoon as well, so I'm going to help her out. We've started um, Motherland on Netflix. You must tell me about this, and Zara got recommended it as well. And we're only 12 minutes in. We've been laughing a lot. It's very funny. Morning. Today's Friday. It's a lovely day. Well, it's not a lovely day. It's miserable out there. I made myself a coffee. We've been to the gym. Just had my hair cut. It's a little bit different. I really like it. It's very short on top. It's going to be a chill day today. I'm going to continue vlogging for the rest of the weekend as well because we've got one for tapas on Sunday in um, Peckham, which is just down the road from us. Uh, we've got a lovely little food thing in Borough Market with someone who I'm good friends with on Instagram. He's got a little pop-up. It's like a vegan pop-up. So we've got loads going on the weekend. So I just nipped to Argos actually because our local one, which is literally so close to our flat, had a lovely wooden slow close. I think it's the Argos home um, toilet seat, so it's wooden. Because we've just bought like, to be honest, when we first moved in, hygiene reasons, we replaced the toilet seat. We didn't really have a lot of money when we first moved in, so we just got a plastic one. We had a plastic one, our old one, and they're not great. They're not great, and this one had broke. It's been broke for about two months, and it's just one of those things you like, do I really want to spend £30 of my money on a toilet seat? But it's fine. It's good. And hopefully this will last us until we move. So I'm, I'm going to install it now. One successfully installed toilet seat. Job done. So we've just taken a stop through the day to have some lunch. I've made a lovely little creamy pesto pasta with some fresh basil, parmesan and some sun-dried tomatoes. And I've got Steph's pack lunch on because it's a Friday and you and I'll be doing your segment very soon. So I've all finished up my edits and bits and bobs and I've headed out in the car. I'm just off to Dunelm because we fit the toilet seat. And me and Zara have had a little chat and we think we're going to do a little toilet revamp. Now I know I said in Zara's makeover video that it's going to be the last room that we do. But we have just extended our lease by 12 months. So... I thought 12 months look for some stick on tiles and a bit of paint, easy to remove. We just thought, why not? I mean, we've got the decorating book. So we're off to Dunelm. I'm um, sorry, that'll be really loud. Um, so yeah, we're going to Dunelm because I've reserved some vinyl stick on tiles there, two packs. So hopefully that'll be enough. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're there. Right, got the tiles. This is them. Got two packs of those and they're 10 in each pack. So that should be enough to do our toilet, in theory. <laughs> now I just need to pop to B&Q to grab some black paint. Then we can drive home. So I'm back from b and I picked up a house plant. I got us a fern. Oh, Lovely. Ferns. These are good in shade, apparently, not direct sunlight. So I thought perfect for the hallway. I'll show you where it's gonna go. I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the tile. This is the one that we've gone for. So keep an eye out for that because I did just say I was like in Zara's bedroom makeover. This is the last room we're making over and then yeah i'm holding us accountable but, but price wise price wise like 15 
24, 40 quid, all in. Unreal. And I honestly think if we send it to the landlord when we leave and be like, this is what it looks like. Do you want us to paint it back and take off the tiles? If you do, let us know. If you don't, we're happy to keep it. I think it's worth mentioning as well, I'm not sure if you've said it before, we are very in touch with our landlord. Oh yeah. Because I think people sometimes think that we just go off on one mm. and like we're knocking down walls, like he knows what we're doing. Yeah. Zara emailed our property manager to get in touch with our landlord to potentially sign on the 12 month lease. Um, we tried to get a reduced rent but um, for a longer lease, but they said no, so we're just fine. Um, so we're gonna probably be here till next summer which was originally the plan anyway but we're kind of going to secure that now so our rent can't go up which is fab anyway right i'm going to make some dinner in a bit and have some cocktails because it's friday Woo. good morning folks so it's saturday gorgeous day in london i mean the sun is shining which is always lovely um we're heading into town today we're having a full day in town so we're gonna go get some breakfast one of our favorite places called excellent it's delicious i've vlogged about it before it's so good we're gonna have a look around some of the home stores around there as well because last time we were there they were all closed so it's reopened, which is lovely. Um, and then we're gonna go to Greenwich and have a look around um, the O2. I'm doing a bit of work with um, the O2, so we're gonna head over there. And then, what are we doing? And then this evening, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're gonna go out for a lovely little meal. Um, it's like a takeaway pop-up style um, by one of my friends, Callum, called Made by Blitz on Instagram. He's a vegan chef. He's done a little pop-up in Borough Market, so having dinner there, I booked the tickets way, way long ago, so. This is the outfit that I'm wearing. This is the shirt I picked up in the charity shop. Absolutely love it. It was $8.99 from Oxfam. I've got my shorts on. These are Burton from last year. And just my Nike um, Law Air Forces. When I call up, I'm to say I'm in town. So brunch has just arrived. We have gone for the Fairfax sandwich, which is, it's quite hard to show you in the light, but it's coddled eggs, so like scrambled eggs with avocado, uh, jammy onions and cheese and a potato brioche bun. You get this every time, it's gorgeous. The eggs with the chives are unreal. And then we've gone for some of these truffle hash browns, which we've just tried and are, how good are they? <laughs> Dig in, enjoy. We both were so we finished up brunch and we've came to West Elm as I said because it's never been open whenever we've been in the area and I've just spotted a massive sale sign in the window so we're gonna have a look in. Same ground, been traveling all over, searching far and away for a sign to lead me straight. We walk together down the streets of our home, it's been forever. So we've just got a little iced coffee because I was flagging and now we're going to head to North Greenwich which I said at the beginning of the vlog we're going to have a little look around the O2 which is like a nice little designer shopping outlet for like discount prices there. So um, we're going to head there now. Just outside Claridge's Hotel, it's one of my favourite hotels in London and they've got a little old car outside, it must be for a wedding. I it's... have a new rule. Go on. If I don't get married in Claridge's and I don't want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's so nice weddings are going ahead now as well. It's lovely. Finally. The feelings come easy as we start a new day. So we've just came into the icon at O2 outlet and I found these little oil decanters. I've been after some of these for a while in a shop called Pro Cook. They're only nine pounds. So I'm gonna grab some of those. So we've stopped off for a little bit of lunch and we came to somewhere called the Sarbet Thai, which is a lovely like Thai restaurant in the O2. And Zara just went into the next designer outlet and oh my goodness, she's got the bargain of century. I'm not gonna show you until we get home, but it was reduced from how much? 180 pounds down to eight. And I'm now looking at this woman, like the designer. Yeah. And it's like 1,400, 700 pounds, eight. Natasha Zinko, right? Yeah. That's the name of the brand. 180 pounds down to eight. Ruffles, sure. Like yeah. So lunch has arrived. We went for the um, kind of like drunk noodles they call them with loads of soy, garlic, and ginger. And then we've gone for a aubergine coconut curry with some lovely veggie spring rolls and like a nice little chili and garlic dip and some jasmine rice. Do excuse the depot behind us. We're home. We just need to do a real quick change. Um, a freshen up because London's humid today, so we're going to have a little bit of a little antiperspirant freshen up, and then we're going to head back out for some dinner. Oh, also, let me show you Zara's dress. Eight hundred pounds. No. But no. It was one hundred and eighty. Oh. <laughs> Designer's dresses. Yes. The one that's exactly like this, a different pattern, is one thousand five hundred. Insane, and no. you got it for a grand old bargain. Eight pounds. That's an absolute joke. It's gorgeous. Look at you go. Okay. 
So we've made it to Borough Market and in true Borough Market style we're having a cheeky little takeaway pints because everywhere is literally a little <laughs> Everywhere's quite busy. Um, we're about 20 minutes early for dinner. So we've had our pints and the food has arrived. We are having a vegan, a vegan carbonara made by the one and only Callum. I'll leave a link down below if you want to the guy. This is the recipe part. And this is what's arrived. It smells delicious. Obviously completely vegan. It's got vegan bacon, vegan cream cheese sauce, fish. We've got a little kombucha. And then we're going to finish with ice cream. The feelings come easy as we start a new day. And I know Morning, happy Sunday. So um, I didn't show you the bits I got in the auto outlet yesterday because it was a pretty quick turnaround of us coming home, changing and then heading back to Borough. It was delicious, we had such a gorgeous dinner. Really proud of Callum, like I said, I'll leave him linked down below. So I actually got quite a lot in their store and it was so affordable. Um, I think all of this came to under £40, which it's pretty good going, considering a lot of this, if you got on Amazon, would be more. Um, so like I said, I've been after some oil decanters, and I actually didn't think they had any in store apart from this one. But on the way out, Zara said, oh, no, look, they have it. So this is a two-set drizzler set where it's 270 mils, um, and it comes with a little caddy as well. So probably won't use the caddy, but the bottles will be fab to decant olive oil. I also picked up this, which is a round glass storage jar with like a cork lid. And um, we've got some like crispy fried shallots that we've just got tucked away in the cupboard so they need to be decanted so I got that and then yeah this I just thought was really cool they had like whoops they had two varieties of this yeah I got this one it's like more of a round one with like a glass pull the handle on top so you can pop your balsamic in one side and your olive oil in the other I just thought it'd be perfect for salads for summer and it looks quite cool as well I also picked up a new pipe and nozzle set I thought these were actual reusable pipe and bags but it's just the one with nozzles so I thought that'd be quite handy I got this ice cream scoop as well we do already have one um, but this is more of a traditional one that you can do nice cornels so you can like really scoop it and get the balls it's very cool the one I have has like the trigger so this is more of a traditional one I also got this, just another um, nail brush. It's really good for keeping by the sink if you've made like pastry and bits and bobs and you can give your nails a bit of a clean. Uh, what else I get? Oh, offset spatula. I don't have one of these and these are great for cake decorating. I'm going to make a three tier cake for a friend's 4th of July American themed party. So this will come in handy for that. And then I got a cake tester. So yeah, this is a cake tester. Again, not an essential, but really good because it's like a thin. But at the end, you can just jab in a cake to see if it's done. There we are. So that's all decanted. So I've just popped the shallots in this one in the airtight with a little label. And then I've done olive oil, balsamic. And then this one is full of extra virgin olive oil, hence the difference in colour. This gorgeous one from Lena Stores. And we just need to grab some more balsamic to fill this one up. And then the little bit in here. So then you get the contrast of the two. Okay, so we're all dressed and ready. We've actually been painting our little toilet. Um, I'm not going to show you because that's going to come in a separate video. It looks amazing. We're about 60% there. We've done the paint. We're going to do the tiles. But um, we're actually going out for lunch in Peckham, which is in South East London. We're going to a tapas restaurant called the Tapas Room. Um, so yeah, it's like lots of like Spanish tapas and things like that. So take you guys along. We're here at the tapas room, it's just opened in Peckham. It's gorgeous, it's just on the high road, and um, we ordered a bottle of wine that the um, waiter recommended, and it's got like a little bit of a sparkle, it's like a ferment wine, it's gorgeous, let me show you. It's, um, I forgot the region you said it was from, but it's called Leron Do 20. Um, so yeah, we've gone for a bottle of that. And then we're just gonna do a couple of tapas. We're gonna go for the mushrooms, and the fennel, and some padron peppers. And we're saving room for dessert, which is churros. Just been doing the tiling in the bathroom. Oh my goodness, that took about three and a half hours. <laughs> Literally, it is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. If you can hear some chanting, the football's going at the moment. I think Italy are playing. Um, we've got some gorgeous flowers in Aldi. I'll show you those. We're going to do a little fresh book here. So this is the gorgeous bungee for six pound fifty in total. So they've got some lovely different variety of flowers in here. I've just assembled them in a gorgeous little bunch. We thought we'd go for a change from the lilies for a couple of weeks back. 
they look gorgeous. Right, so I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because I'm starting to tidy up the toilet. That video will be coming up very soon. I'm so excited to show you the end result. It literally looks unrecognizable. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this little weekly vlog. It's been lovely to have you, as always. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll catch you all very soon. Take care, lots of love, bye for now.